Hello, my friends. The temperature today is hot. I am going to eat some ice cream. Ah, I need a spoon. My goodness, where did my ice cream go? Oh, it has changed faces. Hmm, I have an idea. I will cool the ice cream by placing it in the freezer for a while. This is great! The ice cream is back to normal. Now I can eat it. I am sure you are wondering what happened. In the beginning, the ice cream was a solid. Then, when it was exposed to high temperatures of the sun, the ice cream heated up and became a liquid. So, the ice cream transformed from a solid to a liquid when it was exposed to heat. This process is called melting. Melting is the transformation of matter from a solid to a liquid, and this occurs in the presence of heat. When we placed the ice cream in the freezer, it was a liquid. But when it was exposed to the cold or low temperatures, it became a solid and became ice cream again. So, the ice cream transformed from a liquid to a solid when it was cooled. This process is called freezing. Freezing is the transformation of matter from a liquid to a solid, and this occurs when it is cold. Great job! We see the processes of melting and freezing often in our lives. For example, when it begins to snow in very cold temperatures, the snow is in the solid phase. Then, when the sun comes up the next day, the snow is heated up. We find that the snow has transformed into water in the liquid phase, and this is the process of melting. Likewise, when we put water in the liquid phase into the freezer in the cold, we find that the water has become ice. It has become a solid, and this is the process of freezing. And now, I need your help to determine the transformation of different kinds of matter. When we place butter on the stove, what do we call this transformation? Great! It is melting. The butter was a solid, and when it was heated up, it became a liquid. Great work! What about this liquid chocolate when it is cooled? What is this process called? Great! It's the process of freezing. It was in the liquid phase, and when it was cooled, it became a solid. You are doing awesome! We notice, my friends, that the transformation of matter from a solid to a liquid through heating is called the melting process. And the transformation of matter from a liquid to a solid through cooling is called the freezing process. So, my friends, freezing and melting are opposite processes. And now, look at the ice dissolving here. But wait a minute, is it dissolving or melting? We often hear ice dissolving. I wonder which is the correct term. Pay attention, my friends. We use the word dissolving when we place a solid material inside a liquid, such as the cup of water and salt. After a while, we find that the salt has dissolved in the water. While we use the word melting when matter is transformed from a solid to a liquid through heating. Now, after we have learned the differences between dissolving and melting, let us get back to the ice. What happened to it? Great job! It transformed from a solid to a liquid. So the correct term would be the ice is melting. 
Great work, my friends. You are very smart. Together, we learned about the melting process, the freezing process, and distinguishing between the melting and freezing processes. Finally, we learned how to distinguish between melting and dissolving.